three hours, 21 minutes, 25 seconds and counting. Liquid hydrogen has now entered the stable replenish mode on the external tank. That occurred at 7.56 this morning. Once the external tank is full, we will be conducting a final automated test of the ecosensor system, one that would customarily occur at that point in the countdown. The team has been very cautious in declaring the sensor system a uh, complete success this morning because they want to be completely sure that they're not faked out by something in all of this that uh, they haven't foreseen in going through the redesign of the connector and the kind of data that they would expect to be seeing as a result. So once we're uh, in full stable replenish of the tank, we'll have an additional uh, final testing for this phase and then the very last test that we run occurs at T minus nine minutes just before we come out of the hold at uh, T minus nine for the last nine minutes of the count which will be out of the control of the ground lot sequencer. Metal inspection team now leaving the uh, leaving the van. This is the closeout crew that uh, will actually be going up to the white room that will assist the astronauts with their entry. They'll go up first and verify that everything is safe in that area for them to work and for the astronauts to arrive before they then uh, enter the orbiter to prepare it for the astronauts arrival. That is three hours and holding. We have two hours, 13 minutes, 50 seconds remaining in this planned built-in hold. Joining us here at the console now in the firing room four is STS-122 Spatial Atlantis Launch Director Doug Lyons. Doug has been uh, involved this morning with all of the testing that's been going on with the eco system sensors and we've asked Doug to come over and talk to us a little bit and give us a little bit of uh, status on how that's gone, where we think we are with the, uh, the sensors for the countdown today and what all has been going on during all of this this morning. So, Doug, could you tell us a little bit uh, what's been going on since we started, I guess, about 520 this morning? Absolutely, George, and good morning, everybody. Uh, the uh, atmosphere here in the firing room is uh, one of uh, excitement, and uh, the reason for that is the countdown is uh, proceeding nicely. Uh, we did get into our tanking uh, right on time at 5.20 uh, this morning. Um, the eco sensors went wet as expected during the load process, so that was our first good sign. Uh, shortly thereafter, we commanded the sensors to the, to the dry state at 6.15 this morning, and we left them there and monitored uh, the system, and that was another good sign that, that the system did not go open. Um, during that period, the, the connector went through its thermal conditioning, and again, we, uh, we stayed dry, so we went through that without issue. Um, again, we continued to monitor. Uh, then once we got fully tanked, around 8.15, we went into a um, system confidence test on the sensors, and uh, I'm pleased to say uh, all the sensors um, functioned as designed and we have a good ecosystem and we're ready to go fly. Now we will continue to monitor the, the system uh, throughout the countdown and our final uh, confidence check is performed at uh, T minus nine minutes, but again, we have high confidence that that'll be successful. Uh, as you're aware, all our failures have been early in the tanking process when that, when that connector went through its thermal conditioning. And again, we're, that's behind us and, and the system's fully functional. Uh, so, uh, we've got the final inspection team uh, out at the pad now. They're uh, taking a look at the tank, looking for ice and any foam cracks or uh, that type of thing. Uh, they'll be out there for a couple hours and then come back and give our, uh, our chief engineers a report on the condition of the tank. 
but again, thus far, uh, everything looks real good out there. Um, so Atlantis is in great shape, and, uh, and we're looking forward to a successful launch today. So the fact that we're at this point with the connectors and we've not seen any, any problems, like we have four good sensors showing up right that's, now. That's correct. We're 404, and uh, again, we've run a full battery of confidence checks, and the system is functioning uh, as designed. And uh, again, we expect that, that it will continue to do so, and, and we'll, we'll help us. Successful launch this morning. Now, tell us uh, what our criteria are going to be as far as the sensors. You know, should anything happen between now and launch, what's our go or no go? What 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 rules will the team be following? Well, we've got a launch commit criteria on on this system, and the criteria is uh, you need three of four systems to commit the vehicle to launch. So that's what we'll uh, that's what we'll be tracking. Again, now we're four of four and expect to be four of four through T zero. But should one fail, uh, per the LCC, uh, we would um, be go. And um, we monitor that LCC is effective up to uh, T minus five minutes. And that's when we finally commit the system uh, to flight. Well, Doug, thanks very much. It looks like uh, we've got uh, a lot behind us here. A lot has been accomplished in the last uh, six to eight weeks. So now if the weather will just... Uh, Give us a break here. We'll be uh, we'll be off to the space station. Thanks very much for coming over and giving us the status on this. Okay, you're very welcome. Go Atlantis. At T minus three hours and holding two hours nine minutes forty seconds remaining in this built-in hold. This is shuttle launch control. This is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours and holding. The seven-member final inspection team is. Now walking down the fixed surface structure, looking at all areas of Space Shuttle Atlantis. You see them there in their highly visible day glow orange protective coveralls that are anti-static and flame resistant. They also have an emergency breathing unit with 10 minutes of air should they need it. And they're looking for any observable ice on the top of the tank that could break off and strike the orbiter windows. Here's a uh, good image of the team with their optical equipment, inspection scanners and photography equipment so that they can look very closely at the external tank for any areas of concern. This was uh, last night, right around sunset. First motion of the rotating service structure began at 7.27 p.m. It takes about 20 minutes for it to retract fully. It moves back about a third of a turn away from the orbiter. Rotating service structure in that uh, picture fully retracted from Atlantis. The tail service mass connecting, conducted, uh, connected into the aft. This is the uh, hydrogen flare stack where excess hydrogen is uh, burned off, which is an oil refinery bursts off the residuals during the refining process. <laughs> 